Hello folks, welcome back to the Rosano Network where we've got our second, well our third if you include uh, the review, our second Xbox Series X video, this time looking at transfer rates. Um, in the review we talked about the fact that the hard drive internal is only 802 gigabytes out of the box. Now that doesn't really give you a lot of time to play with. So um, we imagined a lot of this generation, well to start with anyway, is going to be a lot of transferring games. Um, so we thought we'd trans do some tests in terms of transfer from um, an external hard, di hard disk drive to the um, Series X, uh, external SSD to the Series X, and an external um, hard disk drive to the Xbox One S, to, to show you um, in comparison. We are not going to make you sit through this entire video, which would actually be 29 minutes or 30 minutes um, if we did um, sat here from start to end. But we just wanted to show you the kind of the progress, um, of the graphs. Um, yeah, anyway, so what we did, um, we copied over Halo the Mastiff Collection, which is 105 gigabytes um, in all three of the different instances, um, just to see how the internal SSD improves things. And, well, it does. The Xbox One S version takes 29 minutes and 56 seconds to transfer 104.94 gigabytes, which works out about 17.1 seconds per gigabyte, which, you know, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. So yeah, now we move on to the Xbox Series X, just a normal hard disk drive to the SSD. Um, that comes in uh, slightly better, 25 minutes and 25 seconds, which works out at 13.95 seconds per gigabyte. So yeah, there is a slight kind of speed advantage there. Um, not much, because it, it mostly de like is dependent on the, the hard disk drive, the external. Um, the SSD does help, clearly, like with a four minute time difference. Um, but yeah, I mean, not massively, but if you have an external SSD and you're, you're transferring to the internal SSD, it only takes 11 minutes and 51 seconds to transfer 104.94 gigabytes, which actually works out to be 6.77 seconds per gigabyte, which is over twice as quick um, as using an external hard disk drive. So if you do have an SSD, then that is the way forward. Um, obviously, we're talking about the, the the space on the internal, only 802. So what we imagine is a lot of people this generation will be copying games over when and as and when they need them. You don't really have the, the space to have hundreds of games. Um, so, and especially with the, the price being, what's well, 220 quid for the, the official external Seagate drive, um, that's a lot of money. So you're probably just better off spending, I don't know, you probably get what, a one terabyte external SSD, 100 quid, maybe do that and store the games on it that way. Because I mean, if you've got a transfer rate of 6.77 seconds per gigabyte, then I mean, it just makes sense in our opinion to do that rather than spending 220 quid, which is nearly the price of the Xbox Series S. Like, you don't really want to spend that. Um, well, maybe you do, maybe you've got the money, but personally, don't really want to spend that on this when you can just as easily get an external SSD, and you might have one, um, and transfer games over that way. Obviously you can use them for storage and stuff like that, but when it comes to actually playing the games that are optimized for the Series X and the S, um, you have to use the internal or the official um, storage extension. Um, so yeah, that's our bit of advice. Um, rapid um, SSD to SSD, fantastic. Um, and that is the way forward. Um, yeah, so that's transfer times. Um, next up, um, we've got a load more videos coming, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, folks. Bye.